Today I'm going to go over the Registers Claymore as well as the Broadsword and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Washer. So, last week Bungie posted their TWAB and it spoke a lot about other changes coming to Destiny 2. Today I wanted to talk about Regix's Claymore versus Regix's Broadsword in Destiny 2. Just in case, I will put a link in the description to the specific TWAB that I am speaking of. I'm going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly, as well as cover all of my thoughts on the whole situation. Also, before I forget again, I will be giving away a copy of the Destiny 2 Forsaken, so stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how to enter the contest. Now, I actually was supposed to do this giveaway in a few videos ago, but I kind of forgot about it. Thankfully, I have great friends to remind me. Anyway, back to the video. As most of us already know, Regis's Claymore will be retired at the end of Season 3 and it will no longer be available to get in Season 4 and beyond. As of this video, it is still possible to get the Regis's Claymore if you grind at least 300 points a day in competitive. Let me know in the comment section below if you already have a Regis's Claymore if you are still trying to grind for it before Forsaken is released, or if you've given up on it. If you already have Registers Claymore, then in Season 4 and beyond, we will still be able to equip it. When Season 4 begins, Lord Shax will offer a quest in order to get the Redrix's Broadsword, which is pretty much Claymore 2.0. It's a clone of the original Claymore with more options. But they did this because they wanted to get the gun in the hands of more Guardians than the amount of Guardians that actually got Regis's Claymore. I will put the entire quest line for Regis's Broadsword in the description of this video as well. On August 2nd, Eric Osborne or Bungie posted a pic on Twitter showing the number of Guardians that currently had the Regis's Claymore and that number was 8,750. That is 8,750 of hundreds of thousands of Guardians. That is a crazy small number, and since then, that number has probably gotten close to, if not over 9,000, by a small margin. Hopefully, Eric actually posts how many Guardians actually got the Regis's Claymore when it is no longer released. If you already have the Regis's Claymore in Season 3, we will get an exclusive emblem when redeeming the corresponding triumph in Destiny 2 Forsaken. Then, the Redrix's Broadsword will start dropping when Forsaken is released from Crucible Engrams. These Engrams will come with randomized barrels, magazines, and masterwork perks. If you don't have the Redrix's Claymore, then you will actually have to do the quest in order to get the Broadsword, and it's a pretty lengthy quest with 9 different steps. Now, Let's get into my thoughts on the subject. If the Registers Broadsword is in fact a completely identical pulse rifle to the Claymore as everyone is claiming it is, then I am going to have a lot of frustration. The Registers Claymore was no joke to grind, and for many of us Claymore owners, we will feel that it was a waste of time due to our new weapon that we grinded so hard for to become obsolete to a newer version that almost anyone can get with possibly better barrels and magazine options. One thing to note is that the Broadsword will still have the two main perks of Outlaw and Desperado that the Claymore actually has now. Now, I understand why Bungie is doing this, but getting the Claymore is a huge accomplishment in Destiny history for many of us, given that it's been the hardest weapon to ever get. It really feels like an open wound that Bungie sprinkled salt on and continuously threw gallons and gallons of lemon juice on it. Because of this, my nerves are already shot. On the other side, this could be a good thing in making room for new weapons in Season 4 to shine. Given that the grind was so hard in order to get the Claymore and hundreds of thousands of people were not able to get it, the Broadsword will in fact still be a grind, but a different kind of grind which doesn't revolve around winning, but just completing matches, as well as other steps. I don't know, it's kind of cheap for Bungie to actually pull something like this, but whatever. For all we know, the Redrix's Broadsword could be another weapon that is a waste of a grind for those who don't have the Claymore. But I'm interested to find out if the Redrix's Broadsword would possibly be a part of the meta for Forsaken. 
Statistically, the Registrant's Claymore has a faster RPM and more impact than the Graviton Lance, so then why isn't it part of the current meta? Well, my theory on this is basic supply and demand. There is a high demand for the weapon, but not enough of it in the hands of Guardians, which is why the Redrix's broadsword is coming in Forsaken. It hurts to know the tough grind for the Claymore, but in the end, at least us Claymore owners don't have to do the quest for the Redrix's broadsword, and we get an exclusive emblem that no one else can get. However, Bungie better make that exclusive Claymore emblem an exotic emblem too. <laughs> Also, another idea that I highly, highly doubt Bungie would do is give the Claymore users a Redrix broadsword with the best rolls on it for the first Crucible Engram that we decode. So, in a sense, automatically give us a god rolled Redrix's broadsword. Once again, I highly doubt that they would do that. But if Bungie did do it, then I definitely wouldn't even be mad at all. But it'll never happen. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the whole Claymore vs Broadsword issue. Also, as for the Destiny 2 Forsaken contest, it is now live and there is a Gleam link in the description of this video if you guys would like a chance to be entered into the contest. There will only be one winner, so good luck to everyone. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video, if you enjoyed this video feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.